West's Tigers are looking to extend a two-game winning streak this Monday when they take on the Broncos in Brisbane and will be boosted by the help of returning centre Blake Ashford for the clash at Suncorp Stadium. Ashford spent six weeks on the sideline with an ankle injury and only just missed out on making his return last week as the Tigers took down the Panthers 2018. But with another week of training under his belt, the Paddington junior is ready to go. You know, the extra weeks really helped and I think I was only supposed to be out for six and that was six last week. So now it's uh, gone an extra week and it's back to 100%. Coach Mick Potter is expected to give Chris Lawrence till the final hour to prove he's fully recovered from a hamstring injury. The Star Centre showing promising signs at training on Thursday. We've had the bye so we're, you know, we're a bit rested and... Um, you know, if we can get blokes like you know Aish and, um, and, and Chris Lawrence back, then I think that you know, it only boosts our confidence going into the Broncos, so we need all the help we can get, I think. While the side is slowly getting back on track following a crippling run with injuries, Tigers players are still throwing their support behind New South Wales hopeful Aaron Woods to get the call-up to replace James Tarmow in State of Origin Game 2. Curtis Sirinan says they'd be happy to lose the 110 kilogram prop for their round 15 fixture against the Raiders to see him run out onto Suncorp Stadium for the second time in two weeks. We're all disappointed that he didn't get to go for game one. We think he, um, even though we were struggling a bit, we thought Woodsy was, um, you know, he was definitely one of our best, him and Robbie, every week. And, you know, what else could he do to get a spot? But now, you know, if, if it comes to it and he gets a shot, then, you know, we wish him all the best. Before Woods goes anywhere, the Tigers will face off against an eager Broncos outfit, desperate to pick up from a loss to the Raiders to snap a three-game losing streak in front of a home crowd. Amy Lindsell, NRL News.